let's, let's, let's take the perspective on the economy. What to you is, is something that you would remind the public? It clearly uh, should be a legacy credited to the Aquino administration. Um, kasi pagdating kung growth rate lang, um, I think kung um, yung average GDP growth rate niya, 6.2. So I think that would be the highest among many administrations. Um, yung inflation rate doon, 1.8%. Um, he was able to lift 7.7 .7 million people out of poverty. Increased the four piece, did not rename it from, from the 800,000 of President Gloria to... Uh, to uh, to about 4.4 million, and then uh, the budget increased from 5 billion to uh, essentially about 70 billion. 70 so billion. that's large. Mm. And the man shall for but uh, he was uh, fiscally very prudent. Two years, 2014, 2015, one year before election, his uh, deficit was only virtually balanced budget. You know, you would expect you na ang hirap yun apya na yung to name your successor and make it win in this country um, kahit si Ramos hindi nagawa so he was able to achieve um, those low deficit of virtually I think the on the average about two percent and he did, he did not increase taxes except for the biggest in tax. Ironically, he was a smoker, but he mm. imposed. So he was able to increase his uh, tax to GDP, which to me as an economist or from political economy perspective, the, the, the capacity of the state is essentially measured by your ability to raise revenue. So he was able to increase it from 12.9 um, to about 14.2. 14.5. So, ang task po nun, it's a, quite a, a big job. Kung hindi mo, kung hindi ka nag-raise ng tax, saan nanggaling? Nanggaling yun sa collection, eh, DIR custom. So, basically, um, bottom line, um, we were able to reduce the tax gap by about 452 billion arising from smuggling as well as from tax evasion. So he was able to collect taxes without increase the tax to GDP, without uh, raising taxes, but essentially improving tax collection efficiency. Hmm. So saan niya dinala? Yun niya, unang una, <clears throat> four piece will always be you know, remembered for him, um, about him. The second one is also governance related which is the bottoms up budgeting. Uh, that uh, there's congressional control of the, of the usual uh, political patronage, but he was able to uh, basically um, provide more resources for communities themselves who know their needs and implement their own projects. So he was able from um, other indicators, so economic freedom index, when he became president, we were around about 115. When he left, we were 70. Our global competitiveness virtually increased from being number 85 to number 47. That's quite a lot. Uh, enabling trade index openness to the world essentially from number 92 to 64. So there, this is quite unknown. The other one is in education. Uh, he will be remembered for K to 12. Mm -hmm. Although he he rampaged it, mm -hmm. so that's why we're facing all this after in 2013. So the supposed gains are not materializing. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, we're facing a lot of difficulties. Uh, he built 90,000 classrooms, and um, I think um, he hired 170,000 teachers. So, pag yes, nakita mo. Um, Raise taxes without raising taxes. Raise the revenue without raising revenue. taxes. Mm -hmm. Governance. And then uh, with the revenues, 
the, uh, he put it essentially in the social expenditure hmm. while keeping the deficit uh, lo, uh, yes, deficit. Sir. Kung pagtiningnan mo, kinalgal mo, ang lumaki talaga sa kanya ay social expenditure, which means hmm. investment in human capital rather than physical capital. I think it is, ang problema lang talaga, it will probably be said that, uh, and quite reasonably, justifiably na nag-iwan siya ng 1.4 trillion, <laughs> hindi niya ginastos. So, kung nasabayan sana niya yung competitiveness natin, kasi number one sa pinaka mm-hmm. white, white investors, ano, aside from, of course, uh, predictability of policy, is essentially uh, crumbling infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure. So, mm-hmm. pang yan sa national government level, pag sinamo mo pa yung consolidated public sector, sector de, uh, fiscal, actually positive siya all throughout his, his six years because he, had a, he, convert, he, uh, he created the GCG to essentially uh, uh, restrain or ma- um, control the GOCCs. So again, kung dun sa level na yun, sayang din yung pera. I would say na... Um, I would rather kasi you know it's it's easy for everyone to you know to enumerate the na nobody's perfect but I, I would I would still that I, he had a very good administration the only thing that I will probably as an economist would uh, ano uh, sinayang niya yung pagkakataon na may tiwala sa gobyerno ng tao tapos hindi niya ginamit para uh, i uh, i ramp up yung infrastructure in spending kasi, mm. uh, kasi may pera mm. uh, inuna niya talaga yung ano yung mga social expenditures 